Hello, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS, and today I'm going to show you two fairly new features. I think they came in at 2021, either .1 or .2. It's not documented in the help. Uh, I hope they will start documenting some of these new features in the uh, HCSS help, maybe when they get back into the office uh, in March and uh, get back to... Uh, you know having that available but for now uh, you're going to have to do see what's you're going to have to go up to what's new new heavy bid features to see any kind of a verbiage on this and you're going to have to go down and actually go down and look at each one of these to see what's new so that's the only available option right now and uh, or you could uh, watch my YouTube channel, and I'll try to uh, go back and capture some of these that I feel are really important. Now, what I'm going to talk about today is two new features in the bid item setup. One is the unit price, and the other is where you can have a note where you can say, hey, I'm including this in another bid item. Okay, so let's just see, first of all, what this looks like. So let's go up to Customize. And from what I can tell, it only works in the Customize uh, report. Okay, so that's one thing to be aware of. I'll verify that. Uh, but uh, there we go. So you can look down here at the bottom. And here I have... Excavation unit price. I have a price, no extension. It is not in this total right here. And then I have uh, 230. I have haul and dump unsuitable material, which I just say is included. Okay, so I can have this appear on the bid form. Not a not a huge deal, uh, but uh, I, apparently that was uh, what some people wanted. A suggestion there. Um, I believe the, the excavating unit price might work in the Word version. You could try that out. All right, let's go see how this is set up. So I'm going to come back to set up bid items. Okay, and there's the one right here. I have, um, you can see that I set it up as a non-additive with a quantity. I, I want to put a quantity in there because I want a price. I got to calculate a unit price based on something, okay? So I got to have a quantity. It's not going to show up on the bid form, however. Now I'm going to click on customize once and click it again. And I want to make sure that these two right here, alternate price text and rate only item show, okay? So the rate only item is the first topic of discussion. And then we'll talk about the alternate price text. All right, so I come up here, I make it, I make the bid item non-additive, put in a quantity, and then I check this box. It does have to be non-additive first for this. So if you try to check the box before it's saved, you know, let's say it's on D, uh, it's going to give you an error statement. It has to be non-additive. And then the, you can see here uh, also that the alternate price text is there. You don't get very many characters here. I can't say included with bid item and you know so and it does truncate on the form so uh you, you know like i said you you pretty much can only do included there um, but you can play with that and i check that box too now this will be totally a non-active item it's not going to have any costs and it. it's not going to go like take costs from bid item 230 and go spread it up somewhere else uh, so be aware of that is strictly a note. All right, so I come back to tree view and then I come back to my excavated unit price and you can see here I go ahead and calculate my, my uh, you know, I put a crew in, I put in, I have a dump fee, I develop a, a unit price, a unit cost over here. However, when I go to summary, this is not going to be marked up. You have to actually mark this up manually, not a big deal. Um, and I can show you some options with that. All right, so let's go on. So those, I have these two, and then here I really don't do anything. Okay, that's pretty much just handled in the bid item setup. 
I, uh, of course, I'm going to go run my summary. I already run it. That total will not have that non add in there, you know, as you would expect. All right, so now let's go to the bid item setup. I mean, the bid item uh, pricing screen. You're going to see 220 and 230. And you're going to see a balance price here. And then I priced it. Um, I put actually put this price in a minute ago and you can price this at anything you want to but again you're going to have to do it manually or as an option you can come to customize view show the actual markup percentage I don't know if you've ever played with this before and then you could actually come in here and let's say I want 35% for that and there you go so I can actually play with this a little bit and actually mark it up here as you can with any of these items right here. So that's how I, you know, those are some of my options. Otherwise, I'll just be back over here and do it manually. All right. And again, that's not going to show up here on my final bid price. All right. So now let's go up to summary. Let's go to customize. Let's run our preview report. And I showed this at the beginning of the video, but just to look at it again. And there we are at the bottom. I got my 3160, no extension. And then I just have included there uh, for the other bid item. So uh, definitely the unit price one is, I think is gonna be very useful for customers that uh, you know, they have this on their bid form, but they really don't have a quantity. They want to use, they want to put in, you know, have it in their estimate, but, uh, you know, they can't put it, you know, they can't treat it like a regular bid item. So I think this is going to be a really good feature right here. All right. So that's pretty much it on these two new options and bid item setup. I hope you, uh, will will uh, try to use these or if they're applicable to your company and uh, you know if be also to check out my blog and future youtube videos on the uh, subject of estimating in general and of course heavy bid thank you and again this is arthur nix with ewks